As it turns out, this will not decrease the entropy of the universe, because if the demon tries to erase her memory, she will dissipate energy as heat, this is what thereby I'm saying. increasing the entropy of Yeah, but this is what I was saying about the whole problem with the door. Like, if the door has to move, then it's like, it still dissipates as heat. All right, so it looks like uh, I'm here with uh, my friend Jake. We're starting to look at uh, Maxwell's demon, which is a fun uh, science uh, experiment. Or not a, an experiment, but rather a, uh, a thing. Before we begin, it's important not to experience. emphasize that yeah. Maxwell's demon is not evil. I love it's I love this person, physics by Eugene. Way. They're so good at uh, animating. Oh, so good. Maxwell yeah. is famous oh, yeah. for his equations mm -hmm. on electromagnetism. He's also infamous for his idea on how to violate the second law of mm -hmm. thermodynamics. So, it was I Lord heard Helvin who first referred to this idea entropy as, as actually demon. um the it took uh, over 100 years to figure out the real that, reason why Maxwell's um, demon does not actually violate the second law of thermodynamics. The time moves forward and this reason because involved a revolutionary it's just discovery. so unlikely for time to move backwards based on entropy. And regardless of <laughs> and like, what yeah. system like because is used to you can't, you, like the gas will Whether not, it be the biological you know, neurons move, of a brain. It won't, it won't make itself more, logic gates of a computer. you know, ordered than it or than the it, quantum states of subatomic particles so it'll just it it, it it's just an the unavoidable way time works consequence that way. of the fundamental laws of physics mm -hmm. that erasing information increases the entropy of the surrounding environment hmm. it is not when we acquire information that we must pay a price but when we attempt to forget it mm. To review the fundamentals. Yeah, that makes sense because we can't reduce the entropy it's not of the, the amount of information, it's just it how random volume. it is. Because this transfers yeah, energy to the, the gas particles. Yeah. That's how likely it would be. Um, you can measure entropy. Maxwell's One bit of entropy is the surprise you, you get when you flip a yeah. yeah. Two bits is the surprise you yeah. mm -hmm. And hence, no energy is transferred to them. The demon can open and close a door, thereby selecting when she wants a particle to pass through. This door does not contain any friction or mass, and hence no energy is transferred when the door is opened or closed. See, the thing is, though, even if this were like... If the demon is clever enough... You could never have a door that didn't door have friction. ...such that more and more particles gather together right. on the same... So There's so even, many assumptions. Yeah, so I don't even see how Maxwell's demon this was a problem in the first the place. This decreases the entropy of the particles. In apparent it, violation it, um, of the second law of thermodynamics. Because obvi I, the, the problem the obviously comes from the fact that, you know, if you open the door such that all the particles gathered on one side only, it was like a one way gate, then that would be the problem. But you still couldn't, you couldn't do that without increasing entropy anyway because it would create, like, through friction and heat, it would, it would do that. It would still create more entropy. But the universe can only so, increase. So, on the mechanism. Yeah. But you can compensate for What's the entropy loss, uh, for the entropy increase, of Maxwell's um, original idea. in, uh, in the, the door, you can compensate by the entropy decrease the fast in, in the end up overall on one side. It, it's still a problem. All the slow particles hmm. end up on the other side, but the general concept is the same. Here, let's, the let's let her, the uh... that all the fast particles end up on one side, and all the slow particles end up on the other side. But which, to for the viewers, decreases entropy because uh, we, um, you know, all the fast particles move to the one side of the area rather than them spreading out equally, which is what entropy would be. The general concept is the same. The reason Maxwell's demon does not actually violate the second law of thermodynamics is because in order for the demon to accomplish her task, she can't open and close the door at random. Mm -hmm. Only when the, the particles are going to go to the right side. The demon needs to acquire information about the positions and velocities of the particles, and the information in her memory is entropy.
To understand why information is entropy, consider the following. The ball can be located on any of these squares. Each possible location for the ball is what we will call a microstate. To simplify the analysis, for the remainder of this video, we will assume that every microstate is equally likely to occur. Suppose we don't know the exact location of the ball, but we know that it's located somewhere inside this rectangle. Could be one of those two This options. rectangle is an example of what we call a macrostate. So a microstate being any of the options, a macrostate being a, <laughs> like a small collection of the options? Not necessarily small, it's just any collection yeah, any, of options. Okay, but it would still be lesser than the all, because if it was to be all of them, then it would be... Well, the microstates are just the locations that they can be. The macrostate is the selection of microstates that they could be in? Yep. Okay, Yep, cool. it's a subset of them. Yep. Got it. Any subset. What is another yep. example mm -hmm. of a macrostate. Macrostate B has a larger number of possible microstates than does macrostate A. <laughs> it's kind of we funny that the microstates are larger than the macrostates, given the definitions of macro and micro. <laughs> refer to this. Well, the microstates that, um, are just the individual tiles. The yeah. macrostates are the sets sets of tiles. So each microstate uh, okay. also, yeah, yeah. So each microstate corresponds to a macrostate of the. Yeah. Each microstate is a macrostate, but a microstate also encompasses sets of them. Yeah, and there would be a macrostate of the whole system as well, too, right? Yep. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, exactly. And that contains, that is the state of zero information, because ah. that your assumption is that it's somewhere, right? Yeah, 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 exactly. Macrostate B has a higher entropy. Another way of looking at this is in terms of bits of information, where each bit can have a value of either 0 or 1. Mm -hmm. If we know that we are in macro state A, then we only need one additional bit of information to describe which micro state we are in. If we know that we are in macro state B, then we need two bits of information to describe which microstate we are in. Since macrostate B mm -hmm. involves more bits of information, macrostate Because it's two-dimensional instead of one-dimensional. You could, you know, move left and right and forward and backward. B contains more entropy. In this way, we can define entropy in terms of information. Suppose we start somewhere in macro state B, and the demon then always moves the ball to the red square. Love the classical music in the background. I actually can't hear the classical music. Um, Initially, I only the voice the only peeks through when is it's loud enough. This to speak. Oh, okay. Which Hold has on. four possible microstates. At the end, I do love Eugene's choice of music. This new rectangle, yeah. Let me, which um, contains only one possible fix microstate. That for you. If I can. Does this mean that the entropy of the universe has decreased? The answer is no, because we also have to consider better, but the, the entropy of the information in the demon's oh, memory. A little bit. When she's talking, it does, but then when she stops, it's not loud enough. Although we ourselves huh. don't know the original position of the ball, we know that the demon had to observe this information to perform her task. Therefore, at the end, we are in a macro state where the information in the demon's memory can be in one of four different possible configurations. <laughs> oh, 
I like the different faces. Hence, the entropy of the <laughs> information in the demon's memory has increased, and this has offset the decrease in entropy of forcing the ball into one specific location. But if information is a form of entropy, what if we try to decrease the entropy of the universe by simply asking the demon to forget this information? As it turns out, this will not decrease the entropy of the universe, because if the demon tries to erase her memory, she will dissipate energy as heat, this is what thereby I'm saying. increasing the entropy. Yeah, but this is what I was saying about the whole problem with the door. Like, if the door has to move, then it's like, it still dissipates as heat. But not enough to compensate for the entropy increase, or the, I'm sorry, the entropy decrease of the particles, um, in principle, um, like, like the, the idea of the frictionless door, I mean, the idea of the frictionless door is just, um, to make it more salient and like obvious, I guess, but it does mm -hmm. put it out of touch. Um, I just want to assure you that it's not, um, there's no holes in it. Like, okay. I mean, there, there, there may be holes in it that we haven't found yet, but people have been, have transmuted this experiment, this thought experiment in a number of ways. Mm -hmm. Um, and the, the, the kernel of it is still there. Yeah, yeah, because I understand that it's been a thing for a while, and that, yeah, the, inter, the, the entropy, you know, if you were to, so if, if she were to forget, it would, you know, become heat in uh, her, uh, uh, her, in her memory. Um, but uh, I don't, I just don't see why uh it just seems odd that 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 would be enough to 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 compensate but not the door itself and uh we have some uh, chats uh from uh uh memes of destruction uh who's talking oh, about cool. su super cool fluids and stuff yeah um, oh, oh cool <laughs> yeah yeah like uh what was it um it, helium when it's like cooled down to almost absolute zero yeah. it like yeah it, like clings of her surroundings yeah oh. super fluidity let's super now production. return to our original yeah. example it's, it's super solids yeah maybe you could help explain this to me better then when we begin the demon's memory can be a blank slate and contain no information mm-hmm But why? But as she observes the positions and velocity. Assuming, like, obviously, like, there's no actual demon, and it's just a mechanism in a door that opens when it feels like a a uh, a, a a a particle coming close to it, so that it can pass through. I still don't see how that would not offset the 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 the, the entropy. Velocities of the particles to know when to open the door. Like Her memory starts to fill up with information. Hmm. The more hmm. her memory fills up, the Which more is, the entropy of maybe, the information. Maybe that's actually what they're saying: is that it takes knowledge of the system to do that. But then that in yeah. doesn't explain how it, how it took so thereby long thereby offsetting to, the decrease in entropy of the particles in the box to to figure out I think what what it as a historical object Maxwell's demon represents us overcoming if her memory the, the dualism mind body dualism she will have mm. to erase some information yeah. in her memory in order to continue her memory felt, yeah but as the demon erases information in her memory she has to dissipate heat thereby increasing the entropy of the surroundings 
Yeah, by making it more random and bouncing Therefore, around. the overall entropy of the universe never decreases, and the second law of thermodynamics is never violated. That's not true, by the way. We actually have observed violations of the, of the second law. We've, re we've had to refine the second law of thermodynamics. Yeah. Um, the, the, yeah. I, I heard that it's oh, not well, actually a law. It's just that we say it's a law because it's very difficult to actually, uh, you know, um, <laughs> you know, break. It's a tendency. It's yeah. a tendency for things. Mm -hmm. um, and, and all laws are tendencies. It's just statistical regularities. Hmm. Yeah, that's true. Much more information is available broken. in the video yeah. Thermodynamics and the End of the Universe and in the other videos on this channel. Um, Please subscribe. Here, I I like this, but I want to I want to keep up with the um the Yeah, I'd for notifications here. when new videos are ready. Yeah. I feel like there's better material actually. I I just I am passionate about this I am topic, not. that's all. Yeah, no, I'm with you. Oh, here's a spiritual one. This is spirit science. I used to like them a lot, but they've gone off the deep end a little bit and into into QAnon and everything. You know, I'm gonna be honest. I'm not even. I'm not even a.